welcome to video lesson students this is second session in eighth mathematics that is construction of quadrilaterals today we will construct some uh, two uh, some of the problems in exercise 3.1 and 3.2 So construction of quadrilaterals, we need these measurements. To construct a quadrilateral, we need these measurements. That is the first one. We need four sides and one angle. We need four sides and one angle. And the second one, if four sides are given, one diagonal is given, then also we can construct a quadrilateral. And if three sides and two diagonals are given, and when two adjacent sides and three angles are given, and when three sides and two included angles are given. So when you observe all this, we need five measurements to construct a quadrilateral. We need how many measurements? Five measurements to construct a quadrilateral. See, the first construction will take that is the first one to construct a quadrilateral that is the problems in exercise 3.1 when four sides and one angle is given let us take one problem here construct a quadrilateral pqrs if pq 4.5 centimeters qr 5.2 centimeters rs 5.5 centimeters PS 4.5 centimeters and angle PQR is 120 degrees. So this one PQ, QR, RS and SP. So these are the sides of a quadrilateral and one angle is given. So first we have to draw a rough diagram like this. And we have to indicate the angle. The angle is at Q. So see here, the Q is middle. So definitely the angle will be at Q, like this, 120 degrees. And the measurements are also, we have to write like this. So this is a rough diagram. Students, we have discussed about the rough diagram. Now I'll show you how to construct a quadrilateral when four sides and one angle is given. That is the construction of a quadrilateral given four sides and one angle. I'll play this video, slowly observe this video, whatever the instruments you can see on the screen, the same instruments you can use and you can draw, construct the quadrilateral as recommended here. See, I'll show you. So first you have to draw a line, line segment PQ, line segment PQ with pencil and scale. You have to draw this line segment. What is the length of this line segment? It is 4.5 centimeters. And now what is given? The angle at Q is given. The angle at Q is given. So with the help of a compass, you have to take the less than half. That is, see here, this is PQ is 4.5 centimeters. With the help of a compass, you take the radius as 2 centimeters. Now, put the pointer at Q and draw an arc like this. See, as shown in the video. See, like this. You have to draw an arc and you have to locate a point where this arc will intersect. And you put now the pointer at this here and don't disturb the radius. The, with the same radius, you have to draw one more arc like this. See here. Now tell me what will be the angle formed now. So the angle formed now is 60 degrees. We need 60 degrees or we need 120 degrees. We need 120 degrees. So for that, what we have to do? We have to locate one more, one more point here at this intersection. And now we have you have to keep the compass like this. Don't disturb the radius. You draw one more arc like this. So this will be the total angle will be this is 60 and this is 60. Total 120. 
now what you have to do uh, you have to do like point you have to keep and with the help of a scale and pencil you have to draw an ray like this so this is the ray you have to draw a ray, ray through the uh, through these two points like this now you have to locate the point r on this ray so the length of this qr will be 5.2 cm and we have to locate the fourth vertex also for that fourth fit vertex you have to draw an arc taking a length like this see see here you have to keep a pointer at r, r and draw an arc like this so the length of the uh, radius of this will be that is 5.5 cm and next what what uh, you have to do you have to keep the pointer at p and take the radius of about 4 cm and draw one more arc like this and these two arcs will intersect at this point what will be that point tell me let us join so that point will be s so this is construction and you know the length the length of this sr will be 5.5 cm and the length of this line segment ps will be 4 cm did you observe a quadrilateral now have you completed the construction so this is the construction part and you have to write the construction steps also for this quadrilateral i'll show how to write the construction steps also now let us write the construction steps these are the construction steps we have seen how to construct a quadrilateral when four sides and one angle is given so the first step is draw a rough di rough figure with the given measurements the second step is draw triangle pqr using side angle side property of construction by taking pq 4.5 cm angle pqr 120 degrees and qr 5.2 cm so this is the triangle if one angle is given two sides are given how to draw a triangle this knowledge may be given in the 7th class itself so with the help of those measurements only you have to draw the triangle and then you have to draw the quadrilateral from that only we'll make out a quadrilateral the third step is with center p and the radius 4.5 cm draw an arc the fourth step is with center r and the radius 5.5 cm draw an another arc let the point of intersection of these two arcs be s so this is the fourth vertex and what we'll do next the step will be join ps and rs so that the required quadrilateral pq rs is formed so these are the construction steps so you don't forget to draw the rough diagram the construction part and the construction steps are also very important next we'll move on to the second construction this is the second construction c construction 2 the problems which are in exercise 3.2 are related with the construction 2 that is construct a construction of a quadrilateral when four sides and one diagonal is given so this is very easy so let us take one problem the construction of a quadrilateral abcd where ab is given bc cd and ad is the diagonal c uh, ad and ac is the diagonal here ac is the diagonal so what diagonal is given and four sides are given how to construct a quadrilateral so this is abcd is a quadrilateral a diagonal is given this is the diagonal is given and the four sides are given 
C. C here, AB 4 centimeters, BC 3.6 centimeters, CD 4.2 centimeters, and AD is 4.8 centimeters, and the diagonal AC 5 centimeters is given. So, for this construction, I will again show one small video. You watch that video. The, in that video, you can observe the instruments which you see in your geometry marks. With those instruments, I am going to demonstrate the construction. So, watch that construction and understand it. After that video, I will explain how to write the construction step. Now, this is the second construction. That is construction of a quadrilateral when two sides and one diagonal is given. I'll show how to construct it. Observe carefully. So first, you have to draw a line segment. AB with four centimeters. Draw a line segment like this. This is four centimeters line segment. Then put pointer at put pointer at B. Draw an arc like this and put pointer at A. Draw an arc like this so that the point C. The point C is about 5 centimeters away from A. So, you have when you keep the pointer at A, you have to take the radius as 5 centimeters and draw an arc. And again, when you put the pointer at B, when you draw an arc, that distance should be 3.6 centimeters. See here. So first, uh, what uh, what you have to do, you have to do the you have to draw the line segment AB with four centimeters like this, and you have to take a compass and put pointer at B, take a radius at three point six, and draw an arc like this, and you put the same compass at A. Now you take the radius of five centimeters and intersect the previous arc like this. At the point C. So, what you can observe now, this is a triangle formed. Is the construction over? No. You have to construct one more. You have to create one more vertex, vertex, isn't it? So, let us see. For that, again, you have to put the pointer at C, draw an arc like that. See here. Again, Taking the point center at A, draw in intersect the previous arc at this point D, join CD and join AD. So, what will be the length of CD and AD? So, the CD length is 4.2 centimeters and the AD length is. 4.8 centimeters. So, when you put a pointer at C, take a radius of 4.2 centimeters, draw an arc like this. And again, when you put a pointer at A, now you take the radius of 4.8 centimeters. The same thing we have mentioned in the rough diagram. No, the same, the same thing you have to take and intersect the previous arc at D. Now join AD and CD. So the quadrilateral now formed. With how many measurements we have constructed the quadrilateral? So we have, we need five measurements here. Four sides and one diagonal is given. So this is the procedure to construct a quadrilateral. Construction steps for the second construction that is, in this construction, one diagonal is given and four sides are given. So, for that, what will be the construction steps? See, the first construction step, that is, 
first what you have to do you have to draw a rough figure so draw the rough figure for the given measurements then construct a triangle abc first what we will do you will construct a triangle abc with ab 4 cm bc 3.6 cm and ac 5 cm then with center a and radius 4.8 cm what you have done you have drawn an arc then with center c and radius 4.2 cm draw another arc so let the point of intersection of these two arcs be d now what you have to do you have to join ad and cd so as to form a quadrilateral abcd so this is all about the construction when four sides and one diagonal is given so today we have we have discussed two constructions so one is when four sides and one angle is given that is the first construction and the second construction when four sides and one diagonal is given so i have explained the rough diagram the construction the construction steps and everything in detail children have you understand the concept okay this is all about the today's session thank you students thank you